Hello and welcome to Summa Column based on values in another. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. Basically we have uh, some data and it has a product ID, it has a rating score, this is an average customer rating score, and then it has a sales value. All right, and our idea is to sum a column based on the values in another. In other words, we wanna add up the sales based on these, these rating categories, right? And excellent is gonna be everything that's nine or above, good is like our seven and eights, average is five and, you know, to seven, and, and so on down we go. So let me go ahead and delete these formulas, and now let's go ahead and, and write our formulas. We are gonna do this with a function called sum ifs. And the sum ifs is a conditional summing function, which means it adds up a column of numbers based on conditions, based on the values in other columns. That sounds like exactly what we wanna do. So the way that it goes is we first identify the column that we wanna add, and then we do a comma, and then the remaining arguments come in pairs. The criteria range, and then the criteria value. So we'd wanna add up the sales column, and then do a comma, and then only include those rows where and then we identify the rating column, and then a comma, and then we say what it must be equal to. And for now, let's say, you know, equal to nine, even though that's not technically correct because we want everything that's, you know, larger than nine or nine or above. But for now, let's just start with nine just to kind of get these basic arguments in here. And we hit enter. And we get zero, why? Because there are no products with a rating score of exactly nine. So the question becomes, how do we modify this so that it looks at those values that are nine or above? Well, here's the whole point of this post. The sum ifs function supports comparison operators in the criteria arguments. <laughs> Hold on, Jeff, can you repeat that like in English, please? I know it's a little techy, but here, here's basically what it means. Comparison operators, those are the greater than, less than, greater than or equal to characters right, operators, and the criteria value arguments, it's this, this, it's this nine. So instead of saying is equal to nine, we simply need to throw in a comparison operator, right, is greater than nine, is greater than or equal to nine, is less than nine, is less than or equal to nine. In this case, we want greater than or equal to nine. Now there's a little trick to the syntax here. We can't just get enter, we, we'd get a little error. We just have to enclose all this stuff in quotes. All right, so this is how we say is greater than or equal to nine. And we hit enter and yes, <laughs> we got it. Okay, we got it. And, and let's, do a, let's do the next one, equal sum ifs. We wanna add up the sales column, so we select that comma. We only wanna include those rows where the rating column is you remember this syntax, it's in quotes, greater than or equal to, and this time we'll go seven, close the quote, and then a comma. And where the same rating column, hold time out. Are we allowed to use the same column in multiple conditions? Yeah, yeah. And, and this function uses and logic. So all of them, all of the conditions must be true for the values to be included. So, and where the rating column is what? In this case, it's gonna be less than nine. Less than nine, enter. And now I'm just gonna actually copy and paste this down. And now let's just make a couple of tweaks here. Here we're gonna go, um, this one's gonna be five to seven. So we go five to seven. And then this one's gonna be three to five. And this one's actually just gonna be, uh, let's delete all this first one. This one's just gonna be less than three. Enter. And now we got it, 5601, 5601, okay. So the key point here is that the sum is function supports comparison operators, okay. And what about if we wanted to add up uh, the, the quantity? Well, we'll use a very similar function called count ifs. And it's, it's very similar, it counts the number of rows where one or multiple conditions are met. So in this case, we wanna count the number of rows where the rating column, comma, is what? Greater than or equal to nine. Close the function, <laughs> let's do a, a nine here, and enter, and we got it. And this one is gonna be count ifs. We wanna count the number of rows where the rating is greater than or equal to seven, 
and where the rating column is less than nine and enter. Let's just copy this, fill this down, and this one is gonna be five to seven, and this one is gonna be three to five, and this one is just gonna be, let's take away this first argument here. This one is just gonna be less than three. Okay, we get a total of 10 and 10, and I think we got it, okay? So that's how to use sum ifs and count ifs, but understanding that they both support comparison operators, okay? Hey, hopefully this helped. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.